Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness at the Escape Industries showroom in beautiful Chilliwack, Canada. So for those of you that are torn between the 17 and the 19, here are the considerations. No, you don't have to be this tall to be in a 17. I fit in here perfectly fine. The head space is, or the headroom is perfectly great in here for someone who's 5'8", and really there's plenty of room to move around. However, the aisle space, Angie and I in the 21 can actually pass shoulder to shoulder if we want to, and here it would be gut to gut. Why would you want to go with a 17? It's so tiny when you could go up a couple of feet to a 19 and have a lot more storage space. Well, small things deliver big packages and this is no exception. This is the lightest weight trailer that Escape makes and uh, the smallest in terms of footage. So the 17 uh, is only 2,290 pounds, so super lightweight. Also single axle, which means that you can get this particular trailer in some really tight spots and uh, it's very durable and very versatile. This right, right here, we're in the 17B, that B for bathroom. Um, it's, it's very versatile in terms of your seating and your bed. This is great, in my opinion, for singles or for couples that are you know looking for you know, weekend trips or you may be week long here or there. However, do you know one married couple that's on a big major trip? Great in the 17. And we also have uh, some friends in Alaska, married couple with uh, three little kids and they're in a 17 and it works perfectly, perfectly for them. So this is gonna be more of a minimalistic uh, trailer, uh, not very much storage space. And because of that, there's also a lot of options you cannot get in this particular one. I'm gonna read them off because it's a little bit of a list. Um, you cannot get the three burner cooktop, the flush mount oven, the convection microwave, uh, foot flush toilet, or an upgraded uh, air conditioning unit to the uh, Coleman. Um, other than that, there's a lot of customization you can still do with this one, but uh, you can tow this one with a small SUV. Um, you know, you could probably tow it with a, a Subaru Outback or something like that. So it's, it's very lightweight. One of the cool things about this particular trailer is it has really good tank sizes. The fresh on this is 20 gallons, the gray is 28, and it has a 13.2 black tank. Now on the 17A, that obviously does not have a bathroom, uh, so that one does not have the black tank, but it still has a gray tank. Um, that's fine. There's actually a lot of people that don't want to have a bathroom. That's great for uh, folks that um, are in the campgrounds, that use the campground toilets there, or if they're okay putting up their own uh, pop-up potty tent with a portable toilet, which we've done ourselves when we had our teardrop and no bathroom in it. Works pretty good if you don't mind dumping your own toilet all the time. Okay, so the 17A has a permanent bed up front, but the 17B is a little bit more versatile and somebody, some people really like that. Now in the back here, I got this great dinette. You can make this into a bed if you want that to be your permanent bed, or that could be your permanent bed. So either way, uh, you can make the beds uh, however you want or have the size of dinette that you want. Okay, I'm only 5'2". I only have a few inches before I hit my head. I think Rhonda would hit your head in here. Uh, pretty, pretty tight in here, but totally doable. Wow, the 19. This is a great model. In fact, we came really close to buying it. But here's one of the downsides. Just like the 17, the batteries are outside, but with the 17, the batteries are on the back side, freeing up the entire storage box in the front. So if, if I'm looking at pros and cons between those two models, I would say it's a small, RV and you don't want to give up any of your storage space and the storage box is one of those places. So this has less storage space up front than the 17. Another difference 
you go from a 17 to a 19 and now you're into a full-size RV, then that means dual axles. Yes, the downsize side of a dual axle RV is that's four tires to buy, not two. Four brakes to check, not two. But if one of said tires blows out, you could still hobble down the road on three tires. You can't hobble down the road on one. So the nice thing about the 19 is you have now jumped into a full-size RV, which means more storage space and a queen-size bed. Plus, the dining space is a little bit bigger. You can fit four people here that you saw in the 17. It was really a two-person. This makes down into a bed, and you could also add the cot option. So you potentially can now fit quite a few people in here on beds when you're camping. It's also four inches wider, and to us, that makes all the difference in the world. If I'm working at the kitchen. Oh. Slash, 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 slash. Oh, there went my fingers. Oh no. Oh no. Spurt, spurt. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Oh. What about tank size? Well, actually, the tank sizes are pretty much the same except for one thing fresh water. And this one holds 28 versus the 20 and the 17. There you why, are again why in the bathroom. Why are you catching me in the bathroom? <laughs> uh, this is, I think, about the same size, but I think the headroom is less. I have more space to do this. Not that you're going to be in here doing this, but yeah, a little bit roomier in here, but um, these bathrooms are tight no matter which one. I mean, I'm just swiggling back and forth a little bit and I'm hitting one hip on the sink and one hip on the on the toilet. Uh, what this is, is that? Well, Ooh. this is a composting toilet. This is an option you can get. Uh, you cannot get this in the 17, but it does make it quite a bit higher. So for me being short, it is, it is kind of a little bit weird. And um, yeah, it's definitely an option you can get, but uh, I would definitely do your research before getting a composting toilet. Uh, it all comes down to size and what you want. Uh, basically the 17 is a lot lighter by about a thousand pounds. So that's a considerable amount. Uh, it is smaller, it's more versatile. Uh, you can get it in and out of some really tight spots if that's the type of camping you want to do. Uh, for full timing, uh, there's, there's no way we could. I admire the people that can uh, camp and spend lots of time in that kind of space. It's a very minimalistic type of trailer, but very lightweight and versatile. Uh, the 19 for me is, is definitely a much bigger step up, uh, a thousand pounds more in weight, so you will need a larger vehicle, but it does have the permanent queen bed. Uh, there's a lot to love about it as far as the amount of storage, and I'm very partial to having a tandem axle uh, mm -hmm. trailer myself. That was actually one of our requirements. So we didn't want slides, which you won't find in any of the escapes. Um, and we wanted dual axle, dual propane, and lots of storage. So that really drove a lot of our requirements um, and the ability to off-grid. Now, um, one of the things that I would say if I was trying to decide between a 17 and a 19, Angie said size. Sometimes small size is important. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you're you're not going out in it a lot and you need a it, and it's important to have a place where you can store it. So think about your storage space for the RV when you're not using it and you know, is that a factor in your decision making? Yes, if you want more information, go to escapetrailergut.com. Escape has got an awesome presence on uh, YouTube as well, and Facebook and Instagram. And if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like uh, emoji thingy down there, and we'll see you in our next adventure. By the way, we don't get paid by Escape in any way, shape, or form, nor have they told us what to say on film. We've been encouraged to give our personal opinions and that's what we've done, our personal opinions. So. Take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> For now.